I'm Bridget with PotomacBeads.com. Join me today in creating these fun Christmas wreath earrings. And there's two options. There's kind of a blingy option with the Rivoli, or there's the open kind of traditional wreath version. Uh, if you need any of the materials, they were listed at the beginning of the video, as well as below me in the description area. You'll find links to both PotomacBeads.com and PotomacBeads.eu. So gather up your materials and come create with me. So with our Christmas wreath, there are going to be two different ways that you can finish this off. We have our first kind of more traditional wreath design here. And then the second way will be to add in that crystal to make it a little bit more blingy. So you can kind of decide which way you would rather have. And I'll show you both ways to finish that off. So to start, I have my round trios already strung on and I have eight of them with a 15 -0 in between each one. So with those, I'm gonna go back through the same hole. So I'm going through that first hole in my round trio. So I'm gonna go through all of these one more time and pull it together so we get a nice ring. All right, so we'll pull that nice and tight And from here, I'm going to come out of my round trio. So again, make sure that that is nice and tight. And I'm coming out of that first hole of my round trio, and I'm going to jump up into the second hole. So I'm going to go the opposite direction through that second hole. And now, just picking up my 11-0 in between each one of my round trios. So you can see we're going to make our way around our wreath, adding our second row here. So we'll continue this until we make our way to where we started. So just adding, a, adding an 11-0 in between each round trio. All right, so once you have your 11 O's in the second row, coming out of your last round trio, there we go, I'm going to jump up into that third hole of my round trio. So going in the opposite direction, There we go. And you want to make sure you are coming out of that round trio and not that 11-0. So going into the opposite direction, jumping up into that third row of your round trios. And I swapped out my 15, so I'm now using my emerald green and my round duo mini. So I'm picking up a 15, a round duo mini, and a 15. And going into that next round trio. So again, it's going to be a 15 round duo mini, 15, and into the next round trio. And I'm going to continue this all the way around until I'm back to where I started. All right, so once we have our third row with our round duos all set, um, you're going to make sure you're coming out. So go up into that first round duo. So make sure you're coming out of one of the round duos. And we're going to jump up into that second hole of the round duo. And so here, I've swapped out my 15s again for a galvanized gold. So I'm going to pick up a 15 and 11, one of my 3 millimeter bicones, and then again an 11 and a 15. And here I'm going to go over into my next round duo mini and just connecting those all the way around. So again, it's going to be a 15. 11, bicone, 11, 15, and going into that next 
Round Duo Mini. So we'll continue this all the way around until we make our way to where we started up again. So I've just finished putting on my bicones and my seed beads, uh, connecting each of my Round Duo Minis here. And at this point, um, if you want to include the bicone, or I'm sorry, include the Rivoli here, then you'll follow in the next step. If you want to keep it the simple wreath without the Rivoli, you'll skip the next step and just go into adding the bow here. So coming out of my Round Duo Mini, I jumped down into the second hole. So I was coming out of the top hole here and I just jumped down into the second hole of my Round Duo Mini. From there, I added 15 of my 15 O's here, and I'm going to go into my next Round Duo Mini in the inside hole here to create a kind of loop here with my seed beads. So again, we're going to add 15 of our 15 O's and this is to make the netting that's going to help encase the Rivoli. So once we have our 15 O's threaded on, we'll jump over into the next Round Duo Mini and again that's the inside hole of the Round Duo Mini. So you're gonna get these little kind of loops in between each one of our round duos. And we're gonna keep going until we meet our way back here at the beginning. So now that we have each one of our little loops here, I'm coming up into that first loop, just continuing through the round duo mini into the 15s that we already had on. And I'm gonna go through the first eight of my seed beads. So coming out of that one seed bead that's right at the point. I'm going to add two of my 15s and then counting up from the second loop you're going to count up into the eighth seed bead again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and go through just that one seed bead. I'll do the same thing, add two more 15s, and going through just the eighth seed bead, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're going to do this all the way around, connecting each one of our little loops and adding two 15s in between until we have our netting all complete. So from here, I've added on all of my seed beads in between my little loops, and I'm adding on my last two. So I'm going through that eighth seed bead of the very first loop that we went through. And I'm not gonna pull this completely tight yet because now I wanna put in my Rivoli and just kind of pressing it there and pulling on that string we kind of have our netting start. So what I want to do now is go around all of those 15s that I just added, so the green ones here that I just added, just so that I can make sure it's nice and tight and secure. Just going through the path that we just went through. and just kind of pulling it nice and tight as you go. And from there, once we've kind of made it our way back to the beginning, we'll get ready to add on our bow. Okay. All right, so once we're at the kind of start of our netting, just kind of pull it nice and tight so that it fits right in there. I'm gonna go through one of the loops that we had made. 
So find your pathway down through the 15s. So right now I'm coming out of one of the eight seed beads of my original loops. And I'm gonna go down those 15s back towards that round duo mini. And I'm gonna go into that inside hole and I'm gonna jump up into the outside hole of my round duo mini. And this next step is where we'll start, if you chose not to add the Rivoli, this next step is where we'll start to add the bow. So here we are coming out of our round duo mini. And if you chose not to add the Rivoli, just make sure you're coming out of that um, upper hole of your round duo mini. And we're gonna go ahead and add four of our 15s. And I'm going back to that silver lined persimmon that we had used at the very beginning. And so I'm adding on four 15s and I'm gonna go through my bow here. And then on top, I'm gonna add one 11, which I forgot to pour out. And then go back down through the bow and adding four more of those 15s. And I'm gonna go through my round duo mini through the opposite hole. And just pull that nice and tight. And there we have it. And so from here, we can just tie off our loose thread and I do still have my tail end here, so I'll end up just tying that off as well. And there we have, we kind of have the two, the two options uh, for our Christmas wreath here. Thanks for joining me, and whether you chose with or without the bling, I hope you enjoyed creating your own Christmas wreaths. Remember, if you do need any of the materials, they are listed below me uh, in the description area. You'll find a link to potomacbeats.com and .eu for that full list of everything that you'll need for these wreaths. And as always, remember to like and subscribe, so go ahead and click on that little bell down there. Uh, if you wanna be kept up to date with any new materials or new tutorials we have out for you. And as always, I love hearing from you, so make sure to comment below and let me know how this design helped inspire your own.